Hey guys, John Faulkner here with Survival Dispatch, and in today's Survival Dispatch Classic, Chris Weatherman is going to walk through some portable solar options for you. Check it out. Hey guys, Chris here with Survival Dispatch this morning. I wanted to do a quick little video on um, power, charging methods, stuff like that. Not really sure what to call it, but I've been messing around with small scale solar things for a little while and wanted to share with some of the stuff we've learned. Um, you know, everything from like a power pack like this that has a built in solar panel. Uh, this thing carries 24,000 milliamps um, hours of, of power, which is pretty good. It'll charge a smartphone like an iPhone or, or a Samsung, something like that, uh, like three times. Um, and the, the, the little panel on it's pretty good, but it will, from dead, it'll take you probably two days in the sun to get it charged, only because, you know, you, the way the sun moves, you don't get a full eight hours generally, so, but it will charge it up. But I've been a Goal Zero fan for a long time. This is my original Goal Zero um, Nomad 7 right here, and I recently picked up another one. This one, you can see the difference in the colors. This one's dated a little bit. And this original Nomad came with the, uh, the Guide 10, which will let you charge double A's, and it has the adapter to charge triple A's, um, which that was the whole reason I got this thing, to be able to charge up batteries. Because in the field, we all have flashlights, headlamps, you know, maybe AM, FM radios, you name it. Having a way to recharge your batteries um, in the field is, is, you know, a huge plus in my opinion because that way you don't have to carry as many. And everything I do is rechargeable batteries. So the, the new um, Nomad came with what they call the Venture 30. So this is a lot like this thing here. It's just a power pack. Um, has USB port here, has a micro USB and a regular USB on this side. And you plug it in to the USB cord here, which is a change from the original design. The original design had the USB port actually mounted on this little junction box right here. I can't decide if I like this better yet or not, but uh, definitely a difference in the, in the design. And then when you carry these things around, I'm going to show you the one that I've had for, oh, I don't know, I've probably had this for six years. You can see on the the protective layer that's over the solar panels, the wear from sand and grit and things getting in there, because this has lived in my pack for that long. Um, it's always in my pack. It gets drug out in the woods and gets set up. So I wasn't thinking at the time about this being a possibility, and I didn't put any, put any kind of protective layer in here between it. Get the new one. I open it up. Look. Oh, that's pristine. It looks so nice. But having already experienced this now, I know I'm gonna have to put something in here to be a protective layer to prevent this same scuffing from happening because it will degrade the output of the solar panel um, considerably even because these aren't very big panels to start with. But one of the cool things about Goal Zero, one of the things that they do that I really, really like is they always make their stuff to where it can be tied together. And even these two nomads um, from significantly different manufacturer runs as far as design and everything. You can tie these two together. Um, the new Nomad has this little plug here that you can use to tie to another Nomad and the older one has a port right there so I can I can connect these two guys together and now I've just doubled my solar ability, collection ability. By laying them out now I've got twice as much panel as I had in one. Well, of course, that means I'm carrying two of them, but, but nonetheless, you just doubled it. Uh, a lot of the other manufacturers don't do that. Like, I've got this anchor um, panel here. This is a 21-watt panel, and I've got to say, as far as an individual, if I had to carry one of these, I'd like this better um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's 21 watts. Number two, I think that this surface is going to wear better than the clear plastic protector they had on this. Um, this is more like an opaque style surface and I, I think it'll wear better over time. And in, in testing, it charges the Venture 30 way faster than a single um, Guide 10 does. 
or I'm um, not guide 10, but uh, now I'm forgetting, Nomad 7, excuse me. So it charges the, the Venture 30 a lot faster than the Nomad will. Um, and I, I would imagine it'll charge the, uh, the guide 10 faster as well. So if you're gonna carry one, this thing doesn't take up much more space than a, the Goal Zero does, but it gives you a lot more power output um, from my tests. Now, if you're, if you're carrying these things, you're carrying them to be able to charge stuff. So, like I said, everything I do is rechargeable batteries. So like 18650s. And how in the world could we recharge an 18650 through this system? Well, Olight makes a pretty nifty little charger that you can get. This is it right here. Just a USB plug, two magnets. You can stick this on your battery. Um, it does, it's not polarity sensitive. It auto detects and will charge the battery. Uh, it'll charge any battery you stick to it from what they say too. It'll detect the voltage that it needs. It'll detect the polarity and it'll charge. So if you've got your something like a Venture 30, you can plug this thing in, it'll start charging the battery, or you can plug it directly into the panels. Just like the anchor here, its little ports are right here. You have two USB ports. Um, it'll put out 2.4 uh, milliamps, I think it is, or 1.2 if you plug two devices in. So you can plug this thing directly into here, charge the battery that way. Or again, with this guy, I can plug this in here, charge this, or this could be a double A, or it could be a uh, 123 rechargeable, CR123 rechargeable. Um, but having the ability to keep, like I said, batteries for headlamps, a portable radio, anything like that running is a huge plus. And this doesn't take up a whole lot of weight. You add a few options in, like this is something I picked up at SHOT Show. I can, pull, I can charge just about any kind of smartphone or device in the world with this thing through this adapter, through these panels. So I keep this with them. The old Guide 10 also came with a 12 volt cigarette style adapter. Um, so you'd be run off of this panel, it'll 12 volt output. Anything with a cigarette lighter would plug into this. You'd be able to charge a battery that way as well. And then it came with separate cords, whereas the new version has the cords built in. This is the 12 volt port, which it doesn't include the socket that the original came with, but the socket fits the plug. So just a few options on keeping your stuff charged in the field, you know, be it camera batteries, flashlight batteries. That's the thing I think of more than anything are flashlight batteries. And two, if you're running night vision, if you have nods, if you're walking all night long and you're running a, a um, PBS 14 or something like that, that uses either a single AA or a, a single CR 123, Having a, the ability to charge that back up during the day to keep you walking at night, you know, be pretty powerful. And again, it limits, it limits how many batteries you need to carry with you. If you're running typical alkaline batteries, you're going to have to carry a bunch of them to have replacements. Whereas if you're carrying rechargeables, you don't have to carry as many because you can simply charge them back up by carrying some solar panels, some power supplies, that sort of thing. So I just wanted to show you guys a couple quick new solar toys I've been playing with. Um, the small scale stuff, it's something I've been thinking about a lot lately, messing with. And like I said, I've carried this guy here for years and have used it all over the place. And it's performed very well. Um, I got the new one just to see what the differences were and how it was gonna work compared to the old one. And so far I'm really digging the new Venture 30. Um, while it doesn't directly charge double A's, I have the Guide 10 already anyway, and the same panel will charge both of them. But um, so take a look, Anchor makes a great product, Goal Zero makes a great product. And then this guy here too is R-U-I-P-U. -I, I don't know how you say that, but I did get it on Amazon and this thing is fantastic. I leave it on the hood, on the dash of my truck a lot to let it charge. And that way when I need power, if my phone's going dead in the field, I can plug in real fast to this thing and it'll charge it up in no time. Uh, as a matter of fact, I charged my phone with this yesterday. It has four LED lights on it to give you an indication of charge. I charged my phone 100% with this yesterday. It has three solid LEDs and one flashing, just to give you an idea how much power is actually in this thing. So this is a great little power pack. So just some options for you for power in the field, something to think about. We all need the ability to, uh, to have energy. It's one of the components of survival, be it fire, solar, whatever, it's still energy. So check out Goal Zero and check out Anchor. And we can put some links uh, at the bottom of the video where you can find this stuff as well. 
Till next time, we'll see you guys.